What's going on, guys? This is ATO. Today we're going to talk about the difference between relays and contactors. Contactors and relays can both be found in an electrical control cabinet. They may seem very similar at first glance, and they also work in almost the same way, relying on the energized coil to activate the armature to shut or open up contacts to let the current pass through. Although they share a lot in common, it can be important to figure out their differences to ensure safe and proper use of them in electrical systems. The differences between a contactor and a relay relate to their definitions, capacities, structure, contacts, and applications. We'll explain each of these factors in the following part. First of all, contactors and relays are two types of devices as defined. A contactor is an automatic electromagnetic switch that frequently connects or disconnects AC or DC main circuits and large capacity control circuits based on external input signals. However, the relay can automatically switch on or off a controlled or protected circuit according to changes in a certain variable. The next very major difference between contactors and relays is the loads that they are actually intended to handle. The contact capacity of the relay generally does not exceed 20 amps. Small relays typically have only 1 amp or 2 amps of low current ratings. Therefore, relays are utilized to establish control and automation circuits, protection circuits, sense current and voltage, and switch small electric loads with 20 ampere ratings at most. By contrast, contactors can handle higher currents through the coils and contacts, with the minimum contact capacity being 9 amps. The relay and the contactor also feature distinct construction. Contactors mainly consist of an electromagnetic system, contact, arc extinguishing assembly along with other parts. While the relay is basically composed of a coil, an armature, moving and static contacts. The most prominent distinction is exactly the arc suppressor which exists in contactors and not in relays. There are also some differences in the contact of relays and contactors. Since the contactor is used in a main circuit to make and break high power loads, the contactor adopts interlocking contacts. This allows operators to monitor the actual state of the contactor itself, whether it's open or closed. Besides, you can add auxiliaries to them. In this respect, the relay is different. Relays are used to amplify the low voltage input signals to control larger voltage signals. And there are no major and auxiliary contacts, and then standard contacts on the relay. Most relays come with both normally open and normally closed contact configurations, whereas contactors typically feature normally open contacts. Last but not least, contactors and relays find different applications in power systems. In general, relays are most commonly used in low voltage or low current applications, so they are typically used to control circuits or drive low power loads, while contactors are more appropriate for high voltage and high current situations where they can be directly used to connect high power electrical appliances such as motors. A relay is an automatic switching device commonly used for close distance connection and disconnection of control circuits. A relay is primarily designed for signal detection, transmission, conversion and processing in electrical circuits. Thus, a relay has many more NO and NC contacts. In addition, relays can cooperate with other devices for custom design purposes such as time relays, pressure relays, etc. While contactors generally have no additional functions, Contactors are primarily used to make or break the main circuit. The main circuit is a circuit that will work only when it is connected, which is different from the control circuit, where the current is smaller than that of the main circuit. There are AC and DC contactors, and they are typically used in electric power, power distribution, as well as other power consumption situations. 
and can be used to control electrical appliances. For instance, a contactor is able to switch on and off, reverse the rotation, and regulate the speed of a motor. Things to be noted: contactors are used mostly in combination with a separate overload relay to switch electric motors, so as to provide an overload protection for the motors. In summary, relays and contactors are different in their definitions, loads to be handled, construction, contact arrangement, and applications. In spite of these facts, they're both indispensable switching components in ensuring the completeness and safety of electrical power systems. Where the relay is used for the control circuit and the contactor is used for the main circuit, you could put them in the right place according to a specific application. That's all for this instructional video. Hope you enjoy it and find it helpful in any way. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share. Besides, if you're looking for low-cost and high-quality contactors and relays, we can help you. ATO offers a huge selection of relays and contactors, as well as many other reliable products and services for electrical automation control. Be sure to take a look at our product portfolio by visiting the link below in the description. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel.